this is what I'm going to be showing you. I'm Sunday Hoyawale and making a fully embroidered shoe is what I will be showing you in here. This art starts with just drawing. You need to be able to interpret the sketch, what you imagine on the flat base. And while you're doing this, you have to consider something. You have to consider your stitching allowance, you have to consider the lasting allowance, you have to consider the center balancing of this on the shoe mode. Okay, this sketching you have to draw out, you have to consider all the allowance that is going to go in the sole, that is going to be used to stitch it, to form, to shape. It's very important you have an ability to be able to sketch it out. And if you cannot do that, I did it out in the workshop in the Lagos, Nigeria. But if you have an ability to do this out, then then you can you can definitely contrast it out but make sure you are give those necessary allowance for whomsoever you give in to draw this out at the time you draw this out then you're good to go the next is then move this to a uh, monogamy machine to embroider the computer completely embroider this on these fabrics this is a fabric project mind you this can also go on later too but i'm going to recommend the fabric why the fact this is gonna this particular project I did in here is going about 600,000 stitches. So if you go 600,000 stitches on a ladder, it's gonna uh, it's gonna weaken the strength of the ladder. But fabrics is so strong it can pick that up. So it's uh, I recommend you using fabric for this project as I am using in this project. So as you cut it out, then. This pattern, the pattern that what you drew on will be used to then cut it out. Before you get your material to your, your monogrammer that's going to monogram it, make sure you have it cut, cut it in a big size for him so he can have enough space to balance it up on the machine. So when it's out like this, the next phase is then go in there to start stitching it out. Remember we're working on fabric and what once we are working on fabric, this is another sample of the monogram project the edge in there needs to close the edge needs to close so it's very important you run a taping around the edge you can then because you're using fabric does not mean that you need to use the fabric to tape the edge all around together you can then to use a sampled a light leather to tape the edges around that not depends on your choice for this project i'm making a complete fabric so i use another velvet material to tape the edge together i take it to tape it together very tiny so it could just have a very tip i just want it to be very tiny at the edge all around you can make it wider but for this project is very very tiny so this boils down to that you for you making this project you have to have a basic idea on how you can operate your machine machine operation is very very key for every crafter it's very very important for you to have a good understanding on how you can stitch on the machine so move into the machine and get this stitched after it's been taped through round then then need to be top stitch top stitching that you're going to be top stitching is very very important you top stitch it on uh, a, a, a material a leather material they're going to be using for the in one thing i need to let you understand in here that the fabric you used to you monogram on is very important you also cement it with another material so it's going to make it more thicker and more handy, more stronger when it comes to you lasting it. So this mat, after I was able to get the material monogram, the next thing I did was that to glue it on another light leather to make the thickness a bit solid. So after I did that, then it was uh, is now very strong to be compared to that of a, t a leather that I used for a shoe on a normal day. So we have it like this. The next is going to join it at the back. Joining at the back, looking at the way it was sketched earlier on, there was an allowance at the back in here earlier on. This allowance is meant to stitch. So whenever you stitch, you will not be stitching on your monogram. So take note of that. That is very, very important. You don't just draw a full project. You draw in a way that whenever you are joining your project at the back, there is always a space and your art is not being covered up. Join 
together and then the next thing you will be doing in here to then proceed to last thing yes last thing is that act at which you form this shoe to shape and to size it you want to form this to shape and size it this is what you do this is and this is what is next last thing this you have to be very careful why because you using the fabric despite that you've uh, cement it with another set of leather to make it more stronger it is still fabric and it has a tendency to sit tear off if you over grip it too much the tools you use in here is just a lasting plier clipping plier to clip it to, for it to be more easier for you to last you can lay nuts this all around but i recommend you don't lay near lasting because it's going to weaken the fabric so you use a lasting plier to gradually peep the edge Clip it one after the other for you to have a round lasting at the back and at the same time at the front of your shoe. You last it, you and apply your uh, front stiffener, your back stiffener, and you're ready to drop it down and round it up. It's fabric, you don't, you don't need to stretch it, over stretch it, you stretch it gradually, and it's very important you do it one after the other so the tip can be totally round you can have an even round a clean round at the edge of the shoe is very very important that is very very important you wouldn't want to have a shoe that it's uh, um, for the first appearance the tip is no it is is wrinkled you start having the wrinkled tips uh, at it and knowing that there's no you, you cannot use an oven to to bake the tip of this because it's a fabric if you use an oven to bake the front of this or any it to to, to enhance the the, the rounded shape is going to have an issue because this is fabric fabric is going to burn it can restrict restrict fire along it like like that so at the time you're able to use a uh, lasting plier to clip it down, balance it, all the excess, trim off. At this point, you have to be very careful for the knife or the sharp object you're using not to cut it off. It balance lasts all around. And this is what I need to let you know in there. If you are not being careful with the way you do all your drawing, your project will not be balanced. All your drawing will not be balanced at the center. Every result you'll be getting at this point is that the result is all the result is based on the effort you put in when you are drawing your sketches, when you're doing your art on the material. So if you properly and uh, take your time to draw your art well on the on the pattern and the first time before you monogram it, then you're definitely gonna have a good outcome it's time to cement it around you cement it around you using the fabric in here and the project here is a cemented is a pre-modeled so using a rubber so i recommend a chloroprene gum to you be used for this kind of project so once you uh, you apply your gum all around it you wait for some minutes for the moisture to go off that dry off and you then bound it together depends on the the cementing glue you are using and the, and the chemical formation that will determine the time duration you're going to put in between that for that to dry up and once it dry up you put it together you mount pressure on it you have your pressure bar you can use your pressure bar to pressure it together but there is an absence of that for you that you don't have that you can just use your armor to mount pressure on it get to you last remover you move it and then we're good to go so thank you so much for watching this hope you like what you've seen don't forget to like share and subscribe don't just subscribe i like it to hit on notification bell for you to be notified when i have awesome videos like this again on my platform this point I, i'm just putting the inner layer it's very important as the shoe is cool at the outside it's also good to be cool at the inner so it's been labeled so if you like to connect to me there's a link in the screen of this video click it you will be able to connect to me on my instagram and do on my social media all my social media at it's read store around on your screen i look forward to have you in my subsequent upload